Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time. And today, I've got a trailer I'm a little late to because it came out right when we went on vacation. But I'm back from vacation. You can still hear a little left in my voice. Today, we're here to watch trailer number one for Thanksgiving. Thank you for giving me a Thanksgiving-themed horror slasher. Thank you. You know, what, you know what I'm really thankful for? My mutant family and the Joe Bob Jamborees and the opportunities that creates for me and affords me and the incredible time I get to have with all my mutant friends. And of course, in Disney and Universal as well, and uh, and my viewers that help support and make things like that happen for me as well. Um, all right, if you want to see this trailer without my sappy sincerity in the way, where'd that come from? There's a link in the description below, or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and then we'll geek out over together because it's going to be geek out worthy. Yes, the world is weird, times are tough, things are strange, but you know what? We will get through this. We will get through this together. And of course, you can say that with me. I do hear from people all the time. It's really helpful to them. So I love making people happy. If you've ever seen me at the Jamboree, you know this. So, <laughs> uh, so say it with me if you're into it. We will get through this. We will get through this together. Okay, so I don't know what order I'm putting these trailers out, but I obviously have lost my voice a bunch from vacation. It's almost back. We're going to do more. I'm trying to catch up on trailers I missed. Definitely, if you see me missing something you think I should react to, like Iron Claw or the Scott Pilgrim thing, um, don't let me forget and uh, comment below, but also just any suggestions I'm always open to. We're going to try and get catch, caught back up and get back on doing fresh, more reasonable, you know, no, uh, relatively recent trailers. But I had to do this one because I really wanted to see it, and the teaser was good, but it didn't give me enough. So I want to see more about this movie. This is definitely going to be my jam. I also just want to show off my uh, one of my uh, many awesome new shirts. I accidentally bought this in 2X, though. That's fine. Sometimes it's nice to have a baggy, comfortable shirt. Um, check, you know, don't just go by the little plastic things on the hangers, y'all. Make sure you check your shirts before you buy them. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's all good. I'm just excited I got to do the Chucky house. Like, I don't even know how many times. Wait do you see those vlogs. And I'm showing the houses in the vlogs. Because in California, they kind of like it when you film. So... You're going to get a very good treat with all that. So make sure you check those vlogs out when they start happening. All right, that said, though, we are here for the slasher film Thanksgiving. I can't wait to check this out. So we're just going to fix these glasses so I don't get a glare. And we're going to go right into it. Let's watch. I've got plenty to be thankful for. I need the small. I buy them all at the five and ten cent store. Oh, I'm done. Excuse me. I used to love this town. Until what happened that night. Now it's Thanksgiving, and I'm tired of pretending like everything is normal, and it's not. Why don't things go back to normal, too? Show some enthusiasm. Thanksgiving is an institution. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go to that one day one, baby. Um, that looks really fun. Uh, it looks messed up. It's definitely that kind of classic. It feels, you know, it it feels like 
the twenty two the twenty twenties homaging the two thousands that were homaging the eighties. Uh, clearly a fan of Jason X and uh, Freddy's Dead, because a couple of those kills, different but vaguely familiar, um, taking their own spin. And then I like that every weapon is off a Thanksgiving table. The main kids are tagged and like already their place is set at the dinner table. Very interesting. I was not expecting the Black Friday, I guess, massacre. It looks like there's like stampedes and cops shooting guns and holy hell breaking loose. So I imagine that's going to be like the setup for this and the killer wants revenge because something was done there or not handled there or covered up or something. It's going to be pretty typical, I think, in certain elements, but I think it's going to be very done very well. And uh, I look forward to that death in the oven. If they really go for that, that could be good. I do hope it's a movie that recognizes um, the era we're in now. I'm not saying every movie needs to be Terrifier 2 or Terrifier 2 level of gore, um, but... I don't know. If you're doing a slasher, gore is important to slashers. Um, it's kind of a key element. And it's the artistry. If, if you aren't into them and you don't get it, for those of us that are into it, it's really kind of the artistry and the magic of that effects work and the makeup work. So I do hope they're going to push that. I don't know. I, I, it feels a little more playing it slightly safe, which you wouldn't expect from like an Eli Roth thing. But that may just be the trailer. Maybe we'll get a red band. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. And it doesn't have to be about the gore. But again, we're talking in a slasher, the kills need, like, there's fun kills, so they really got to just keep, like, you know, with the corn cobs, that's fun. So they got to at least bring the fun, hopefully some great makeup effects. Because I'll tell you what, uh, you may have seen me do the trailer reaction to Mutilator 2 a little back, and I was on the fence about it. Well, I had the privilege of seeing it at Joe Bob's Jamboree, the world premiere, and they know they live in a Terrifier 2 era. I'm not saying it's quite that level, but I'm saying it's in that ballpark, you know, like it may not be as much, but what they do, they go as hard with. So, and Mutilator 2 was pretty freaking awesome. So when that comes out, keep your eye on it. Like I was so thrilled with how good that movie ended up being. Um, but I'm excited for Thanksgiving too. So definitely going to check that out. But how do you feel? Do you agree with some of my sentiment when it comes to slashers and effects and all that? It's fine if you don't. I would love to hear your take on it as well. Are you excited for the movie? Let me hear your thoughts. Definitely geek out with me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. Check out my music anywhere you listen to music. Look up Eric Butts, especially on Spotify. That's where it's going to help me out the most. Or Apple Music's fine, too. A uh, new song should have just... An old new song. A new release should have just happened with an old song. The Waffle House Anthem. Check that out. Apparently, it's very catchy. People really dig it. This is by request, so it's getting out there. Um, watch the Joe Bob's Jamboree to find out why. Uh, vlog. And, of course, uh, new stuff coming early next year. Very excited for this new album. And uh, go to ericbutts.com for all your other funky butts fun you're looking for. More with the links in the description below. Just click that See More button to see more butts. And on that note, i got to get out of here. It's the last trailer I'm filming. I don't know what order they're coming out in, but i got to rest my voice. i got some other filming i got to do. We'll get back on things, and we'll get it going again. And thank you for everything, and thank you for just thank you for being a friend. All right, on that note, I'm going to get on out of here so I can go watch some more stuff. And I'll see you all later.